was just really craving a cozy aesthetic day off. I feel like this time of year is just so busy. I've been feeling this week like I'm not very productive and I think it's because my body is just like slowing down like i'm just tired at the end of the year i also was thinking that christmas is coming up a lot of people are gonna have time to be able to take off and relax but sometimes when you finally have the time to relax it's hard to actually make yourself relax or you just like don't always know what to do with your time because you know how often do you get to fully just chill so i thought maybe this could be the best of both worlds i can get a cozy day off and also maybe it can just be a few little to-do items for inspo for you in case you have a day off coming up and you're trying to figure out how to spend your time or how to make it feel a little bit more cozy on my list for today is sleep in check already did that number two is i have planned to make shakshuka for breakfast i'm gonna make shakshuka you want some what is it that egg thing with tomato sauce no, just make it for yourself. It's so easy, but it makes you feel fancy, which is the perfect thing for a day off because you want something that doesn't require a lot of effort. But you also want to make those kind of luxury. So I'm going to make that today. If you don't know what shakshuka is, it is like basically eggs cooked in tomato sauce. And I like to add veggies. I like to put it on some toast and add goat cheese and thinly sliced onions it is amazing i am waiting for nathan's meetings to be done since i'll be like kind of loud in the kitchen in the meantime while i'm waiting for him i think i'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare i think i'm gonna be using these first aid beauty i wish their packaging was cuter because this is not really i don't know i don't love having this like on display in my bathroom but their products are good and they're cheap this is the hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid then I'm gonna use the hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid and then the ultra repair cream. Think about having skincare in the morning when it's just like very lightweight and moisturizing feels so good. My other favorite is the Summer Fridays CC Me Vitamin C Skin Serum. I love it for that, but I didn't go through mine quite fast enough and it expired, so this is my backup. getting ready for the day i was going to show you my newly rental stuff but then i remembered while i was doing my makeup that i was about to go to the gym we did decide we're going to go to the newport boat parade tonight which is going to be really fun so i'm going to look cute for that but right now i just need to get ready to go to the gym then i'll come home and change i'll just show you now because i might as well one of my favorite things about renting clothes is i feel like it gives me permission to try things that are a little bit more out there or things that are maybe trendy that I don't think I would like a year from now. And this is the perfect example. I would never buy these, but I think they're so fun. I used to be a full like color and white girl only, but I'm kind of into black lately. I felt like their options were kind of limited this time. Like I wasn't finding a ton of stuff I was super excited about, but the nice thing is it just comes in this bin and then you just zip it up. The return label is right in here. So you just take this and stick it on top when you want to send it in, drop it off at UPS. It's very easy. I do like that. And then as soon as it's been scanned and they see that it's like coming their way, then you're good to go to order your next round as long as your subscription date has come. And then you can pause or cancel it at any time, which I like. But yeah, that's my newly order. I'm gonna try it on a couple of things. <laughs> Nathan's still in meetings. He has meetings all day today. He's a fun guy to be in meetings with. Just come from the gym i just did a really light jog walk while i kind of like sorted through my thoughts i'm on a little bit of a time crunch and i'm gonna try to finish these peppermint brownies which will be the most cozy treat ever and i've been wanting to watch i think it's called the noel diaries it's on netflix and i've heard really mixed things about it i love like a cheesy chick flick holiday movie with like half of a plot like i love the movies that are just 
honestly kind of bad <laughs> around Christmas time because I love something to just put on and kind of zone out in the background. So I've watched a lot of them, but this one, some people say that it's really, really good and it's one of the ones that like actually has a plot. And I've also heard from someone else that it was sad. I wanted to show you also two Christmas crafts. That might be fun if you're looking for one more craft cozy activity before Christmas. First one is this lemon poppy seed muffin ornament. Every year I try to buy or make an ornament that's somehow meaningful from the year. And we have a really special memory that involved lemon poppy seed muffins. First, I took a styrofoam ball and then I just folded over this piece of gold velvet, glued these muffin liners, and then I took these tiny black beads. I just stitched them one at a time by hand with a needle and thread. And then I just added this loop and then I added a little bit of Elmer's glue and sparkles to the bottom just to make it feel a little bit more Christmassy. And then the second thing I wanted to show you is this Christmas tree train. A couple of years ago, or maybe last year, Elsie on a beautiful mess, she posted about painting her own Christmas tree train and I thought it was so cute just to customize it a little bit and make it a little bit more Christmassy. So here's the front this was just like a black and gray boring train but i used acrylic paint i added a little wreath and then i filled the coal car with ornaments so what i did to make these ornaments i took those like plastic pearl beads in blue red and green and i added a tiny silver bead to the top of it so that they would look kind of the shape of ornaments but yeah there's a little christmas craft idea in case you want to add a little more cozy to your holidays and just have a fun activity Heading out to the Christmas boat ride wearing my newly sweater. I just have to say the Noel Diary, that movie, no. Not a winner for me, I'm sorry. It was actually really well made, like the acting was amazing. The writing was like good quality, like it wasn't cheesy, but it was kind of a bummer of a story. It was like just a drama, very serious, like deep, important things. But the other thing is I cannot get on board with love stories this is a spoiler skip ahead if you don't want a spoiler i cannot get on board with love stories that start off with people cheating like i'm not i'm not gonna cheer for you guys when you start off that way it's not romantic in real life i'm not about that i the whole time that i want to be like excited for the couple to get together and i want to be like you know feeling the love that they're feeling i'm just thinking she's totally cheating on someone she's been lying and cheating this entire time, a certain genre of people would really like it. It's just not gonna be your like feel good, cheesy, Hallmarky type of movie. And I'm sure they didn't want to be that. So they did a great job, but it was not for me. Now I'm heading out to go see the Christmas boat parade in Newport Beach, which I've never seen before. You're gonna meet up with some friends and Nathan and have some food and see the lights. So thank you for coming along on my day today. I hope that you got a couple ideas for a cozy day off yourself that you can enjoy over the holidays. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.